now that we have an idea of our variable and fixed costs out of the way, let's introduce a new income statement format. It's called the contribution format. And you may be thinking, oh, come on, man. What's wrong with the one we're using? Well, it doesn't give us a lot of good information. It doesn't give us a new way of looking at our costs and of making decisions. So let's have a look at what the old one looks like first. Then we'll have a look at the new one, and I think you'll say, you know what? That's fantastic. I like that. Um, it's non-GAAP. What I mean by non-GAAP is that it's not uh, a generally accepted accounting principle. You would never externally report a contribution format income statement. It is entirely internally useful, not external. So, income statement. We start with sales, less our cost of goods sold, and we get what's called a gross margin. This is very useful to determine whether or not our purchasing is efficient. Less our expenses. We have selling expenses. We have administrative expenses. So we start at a top line revenue and we work our way down. Revenue minus expenses eventually will come to operating income. And from operating income, there's more deductions that we'll take. Then you get into your interest, your depreciation, all that kind of stuff. We're going to leave that out right now. We'll just stop at operating income. Well, that helps us analyze the efficiency of our cost structure, but it doesn't help us make decisions. So we're going to change it around a bit. So we're going to start with sales. All income statements start with sales. And then we're going to subtract just our variable costs, less our variable costs. And we may have variable costs of production, variable costs associated with selling. Maybe there's a commission on sales where every sale gets a certain percentage. And variable costs associated with administration. There might be some parts of administration that are variable. Once we subtract that, we get what's called a contribution margin. It is the contribution from sales that are available to cover fixed costs, our contribution margin. And this really is, uh, um, uh, if you've done any economics, any microeconomics theory of the firm, this is really what motivates it, is that we hit our shutdown point as a firm when our contribution margin turns negative. At that point, we're not even covering variable costs. You may as well shut down. See how powerful that is? So less our fixed costs, our costs of production, our costs of selling, our costs of admin, those are fixed, and we end up with operating income. So from the traditional form of income statement to the contribution form, the first line and the last line are exactly the same, are exactly the same. All we're doing is changing the, co the cost function to the cost type. We're going from a functional income statement to a type, variable costs first, then we subtract our fixed costs. This makes much more sense when we actually get into the problems.